Hello, my name is Michael Rao, and this is Ransom Reviews. Um, I saw the video for Shake It Off by Taylor Swift, and honestly, I was blown away. I love the song. I love the music video. I think it's fantastic. You know, she's been doing pretty similar things. Like, all of her music videos and all of her music has been pretty much the same thing just over and over again uh, for a while now. So it's, it's, it's a nice um, addition uh, to see and surprise to see this, this this brand new thing this brand new type of music it, it's got a nice feel to it it's danceable it's, it's just wonderful I love the song I love the message which is you know getting over people's hate you know uh, caring what people think and kind of going your own way and just living your life like that which I think is wonderful and Taylor uh, if you ever watch this I think you are fucking beautiful in this video I really do um, and all your incarnations like you show the various parts of you you know and you, you take what people say about you, you know, with a grain of salt, and y you just roll with it. Honestly, that's that's really ad that's a very admirable trait. Uh, you should be very proud of yourself. Um, I do, like I said that I love your song. I think it's amazing. I think you did very well. Um, if you wrote this, I'm not sure. If you did, tell me because I know that you are a songwriter. If you did, I'm, I'm amazed. I think this is a really good song. The beat, everything about it, the wording, it's just it's awesome. Um, and that brings me to the next song I'm going to talk about. is uh, It's All About That Bass by Megan. I cannot pronounce her last name for the life of me. I apologize. I'm not going to bother butchering it because most people can say my last name. So it's I know how it does feel to have people butcher your last name. Uh, I love this song. I love the message, which is like, who cares if you're a bigger person? I'm a bigger guy. I think I'm sexy as hell. Um, you know, I mean, I, I didn't when I was growing up. You know, then I've gotten older. It's, it's I feel like I feel I feel like I'm good looking. I have people who do admire me and who have complimented my appearance. So it's like, bitch, I like the way I look. So yeah, you know, I love it. You know, your, your whole song is just a beautiful message. You know, bringing that. Not everybody is going to be super thin and super suave. And I think this is a big message to the gays of the world. Um, as a fellow gay, I, and, and I'm also asexual, I, I do understand that a lot of us are kind of put in this stereotype to look extremely fit and sexy and just like hairless and perfect and effeminate and Ken-like with all these nice clothing. And I would, I like to look nice. I look like have good clothes. I'm poor, so I can afford good clothes that match, but that's a different story. You know, I mean, I think most people like to look nice. It's just, just who we are as humans. Um, or at least a like culture, at least. Uh, but, you know, she's right. You know, we don't need to fit in those kind of stereotypes, those, those very boxed-in things. So, you know, just love yourself. They, that's what I think both of them kind of say is love yourself. Roll off what people say and know that you're beautiful, you're sexy, and you're awesome. You're worth it. That's, that's the point of these videos is you are worth it. And I think this message is extremely powerful and very important, especially in such a self comment, uh, self image con conscious society. I'm sorry, I couldn't say that. Um, because we are, we are in a very self image, like very conscious um, uh, society. If you really think about it, if you really look at it a very broad perspective, you know, you have girls who, will, and boys, because uh, people always say that guys do not have these problems, but they do, who are uh, anorexic and bulimic and. Uh, have body dysmorphia, which is basically when you see yourself very obese, fat, whatever you want to use, or maybe not that, maybe you see yourself super thin, or you, you see yourself gross and nasty when your body can be perfect. It's a, it's a horrible thing. Um, an example of this is if, if anybody's watched, okay, most of you guys are probably younger, but anybody who's watched Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the original series, I remember her taking, uh, like, she was getting these diet things that are magical, and in order to sell them, what the uh, salesman did is he got into a room and he cursed her mirror. Basically, when she saw herself, and Sabrina's a beautiful girl. I, I don't remember the girl. Melissa something. My bad names. Melissa. I know her name's Melissa. Melissa Jones, I think, actually. I'm probably wrong, but I think that's what it is. Um, she's a beautiful woman, and it made her huge, like the mirror did. So she really became very image conscious, and... Uh, she eventually took so many of the powders that she actually became invisible because there was nothing there. Um, you know, that really got to me. That's a, that's a powerful message right there. And that's what, like, I'm getting at is who cares what you look like? Do you want to improve yourself? Yes. I'm not saying vomit. I'm not saying work out to the point where you, you, you die or get hurt or take roids or steroids. Or, you know what I'm saying? 
um, take care of yourself. As long as you feel good and you're healthy, who gives a flying fuck what you look like? Everybody's beautiful. I am asexual. And I know this is, I've said this before, but let me explain why I think I'm a really good person to explain this. I think everybody looks this, like, looks, there's no really good or bad to me. You just look the way you look until I get to know you. You could be someone who's traditionally kind of ugly, and I will think you're the most beautiful person in the world, as long as you're a loving person. Believe it or not, physical appearance, sex, and things like that only last the first maybe year you're with somebody. After that, it, no, actually, not even that. The physical appearance part lasts the first few days you meet somebody. Sex only lasts about five years in a, like, a long-term relationship. I mean, you do have sex. I'm talking about like the passionate part. Like, like you have sex every day, and you're super into it. It, it does go away. It fades. Um, and you can't build a relationship on, on physical intimacy. Um, not when it works, at least. Um, you need commitment. You need you know more than just the physical. So you know it's not as important as people make it out to be. Um, but I do encourage you that if you are severely obese uh, or severely thin, I don't know what the word emaciated. I think the word I'm looking for is um, if you need, if you want to make yourself healthier. And I'm not saying like sexy or gorgeous, but healthier. You know, if you're a little thinner, put on a little bit of weight. That'll help. If you're a little bigger, work out. You know, fix your diet. If it's a medical problem, get looked at. I'm not saying, you know, starve yourself or, you know, stuff your face. But if you are worried about your health, that's a totally different subject. That's fine. But don't for one second let someone call you fat or ugly because you're not. There's no such thing. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You're holding the, you're holding the eye right now. You choose if you're beautiful. And guess what? You're beautiful. So fuck everybody. Who gives a flying fuck? It really doesn't matter. It doesn't. Believe it or not, super beautiful people, a lot of people think, like, example, moles. People think moles are ugly. What they don't know is the people who have, like, the little moles all over their bodies, I don't know, there's a condition to call that, actually are more likely to be more beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, I should say, um, than anybody else. It's a genetic quirk. So, you know, beauty is completely interpreted. You know, maybe you have something you don't like. Well, get over it, because guess what? The rest of you is beautiful. It's a part of who you are. Um, I have, I have body issues. I'm not gonna say I don't. A lot of people do. But, you know, at the end, we're all beautiful, and we're all whole, and we're all happy. Oh, well, at least the potential to be happy. So, get over it. You're alive. You're breathing. You know, you, if you have friends, or if you don't have friends, guess what? Somebody loves you. You have friends, they love you for who you are. They don't care what you look like. And that matters. You have kids, they're not gonna care what you look like. They love you. That's what matters, as long as you're a good parent. Even then. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, body image, it, it, what you look like does not really matter. It's, and I, I know it's corny, the whole, you know, beauty's on the inside. I think it is. I truly think beauty's on the inside. I believe beauty is kind of your personality. I believe beauty is your attitude and the way you show yourself and hold yourself. There's nothing sexier than confidence. Really, there isn't. Like, you get two people, identical twins. The one that is timid and afraid, most people will not find as attractive. They, they will see the negatives. But somebody who is extremely just happy and confident and just like they radiate, you know, just this aura of happiness and, and light. Um, people are attracted to that. People are drawn to these people. That's why you see a lot. And, and, and in the same way, like if you look at a lot of world leaders, world leaders, not all of them are good looking. Very few are. But people are drawn to them, and people actually do see them as attractive people. Not because of the power, but because of their confidence, because of the way they hold themselves. So, you know, there's more to it than what you look. Uh, this video's been going on for a little while. I'm not usually making videos this long, but this is a really important thing to me. Um, so, you know, just like I said, hold your head up. Who cares what, don't care what people say. You look like, you're beautiful, you are worth it. And these songs, you know, um, all about the bass and shake it off are just perfect examples of that. Who gives a fine fuck? You're beautiful. You're worth it. And that's it. The end. Don't care what people say. Care about what you say because you're the only person in your entire life that is permanent. Uh, the video's over now. Thank you guys. Bye. Mwah.